Take it from the smartest man alive. There are drawbacks to knowing everything. Spoilers are plenty ahead, so tread carefully lest you find your own noggin bouncing off a rather firm backside. Metaphorically speaking, of course. <laughs> When you're playing a game, in order to have an emotional response that feels real, music can help generate that connection to what you're doing. My name is Bear McCreary. I am the composer for God of War Ragnarok. Hello, my name is Sonia Coronado, and my role here in God of War Ragnarok is a uh, music production lead. My name is Kellogg Boynton, and I'm a recording and mixing engineer for the music department here at PlayStation Studios. Hi, my name is Justin Fields. Uh, I'm in the music affairs group and typically handle music contracts and licensing. For God of War Ragnarok, I was invited to compose English language lyrics for the music score. Composing music for a video game begins in my studio, in my head. I want to come up with themes that will resonate, melodies that gamers will be able to take with them on this journey. From there, it involves a lot of people. My main goal for this game is to make an interactive music experience for the players so they feel really immersed in the world of God of War through music. My role on the production for the music of God of War was to help oversee the recording sessions, working with our external engineering partners, both over in London and over in Iceland, working with them on mic choice and placement, providing them any details that they may need, as well as being able to mix some of the score. The music group at PlayStation strives to leave no creative stone unturned, and composing lyrics for the score and translating those to Old Norse was an opportunity for us to lend an air of authenticity that will help bring the players into the realm and world of God of War Ragnarok. Well, I recognize that dour expression anywhere. As a composer and as a fan, I want to go into a sequel and hear something that gives me exactly what I want and exactly what I don't know that I want. What do I want as a fan? The same thing. I want to hear that same theme again. But what do I need is new information and a new perspective on that material. I think my initial challenge in facing God of War Ragnarok was in trying to match ultimately exceed the scope of my score for God of War. When I read the script for Ragnarok, the story was expanding. The roster of characters, the realms, everything was bigger and simultaneously needed to be as emotionally immediate. Ah, ah, <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? Probably the biggest challenge for me was coming up with a theme for Atreus which I didn't do last time. I didn't do last time because the story really didn't need it. I had a theme for his mom, I had a theme for his dad, and the game was about his relationship with those two entities. God of War Ragnarok was different. I needed a theme for Atreus. And I, I struggled with this one. I went through many drafts. Finally, I came across an idea of using the Nordic folk instruments predominantly to be his theme. To pull back on the orchestra and almost get rid of it. And I got a really small group of strings, just five strings, and had them start chugging away. It was small and tight, like a rock track. And then I brought in a nickel harpa and a hardinger fiddle and wrote this theme for them that was quite literally the Kratos theme turned on its head. Instead of bum, 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 I just turned it around. Bum, 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 bum. It's telling you twice in a row, twice in a row it tells you, hey, this is the Kratos theme, but it's backwards. And I pitched it like this. I said, uh, 
Atreus's theme has got to be scrappy. It's got to be smaller. He's growing up. We don't want it to be as big and ominous and powerful and slow as the Kratos theme. It's got to be different. So this is, it's going to be a little smaller. And I hit play. And at the end, I remember Eric Williams was quiet and Corey was laughing. Corey was like laughing at me. And he looked at me and he said, I love that you think that piece is smaller. And I felt at that point that I had in a way overcome the, the biggest challenge I was gonna face. I thought from there, be smooth sailing. Turns out I was wrong about that. One of the biggest challenges that we overcame is that we had to record this entire score remotely. Uh, obviously due to the pandemic, we were not allowed to travel for obvious reasons. So we had to be able to figure out how to do this all remotely with our team in Los Angeles while recording the orchestra over in London and in Iceland. So being able to kind of pull together as a team and pull this off, especially with the hurdles that we had to work through, it was a huge accomplishment for everyone involved. And I find that the quality of the implementation, the creative instincts of the team that are actually putting the music into the game are part of what shapes your experience when you play it. One of my proudest achievements is something that we actually thought early on during this project. We were wondering, is there a way to not cut off melodies in a game that is so interactive? So we really try to carry that vision into this game. and. It was a really a team effort to make this happen, but we ensured that in all boss fights and in all systemic content, as much as we could, to let no melody be harmed. And I hope all the players get to enjoy that. Oh, it's really you. The first day that I met with Corey and Eric to discuss God of War Ragnarok, we spent the vast majority of it talking about Anger Boda and Atreus. Her impact on the story is massive, and making sure that she and Atreus had a relationship that works and that the audience bonds with her was a primary focus for me as a composer. In many ways, her theme pushes the boundaries of our score a little bit. I wanted sounds that would be in the same musical realm as these Nordic folk instruments, but I wanted something that was different. It's this perfect mix of sweetness and innocence combined with the magic aspect of this realm. So the use of dulcimers, for example, to really represent that childlike innocence, but also this flute-like melody that uh, really carries the story of Anger Boda. So this unique wooden flute comes in playing her melody. And her melody is closely connected to the Atreus tune. The first five notes are the same. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. That's Atreus. Da 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 da. That's Anger Boda. Because they're related, their fates are intertwined. Here are the English language lyrics for Anger Boda's theme, which is titled The Giantess of Ironwood. Mother, mother of wolves, you will endure. You will endure. You are your savior. Keeper, keeper of souls. The last giantess, mother of wolves, you will endure. Asa, faster! We got him now! So this cue is a great example of how we use a few words to accomplish something fairly impactful. The line, you are your savior in particular, speaks volumes about Anger Boda's character arc. The concept of breaking free from one's own fate and taking control of one's own destiny is a common theme across all of the God of War games. And exploring that as it applies to Anger Boda was an extremely interesting and exciting opportunity. If I was supposed to fight alongside you, I wouldn't disappear from your damn Nero halfway through. She's lived under the weight of this prophecy her whole life, knowing that she was going to have to help Loki. And a big part of her dramatic evolution comes from what happens after that. Whoa! Gotcha!
So I think the aspects that I'm most excited for the players to experience are actually the music for each realm. Hearing how the music and themes elevate the experience. The way that we've been able to tell a story through music. Perfect. Really excited for players to be able to experience all of that. Everybody on the music team, the sound team, and all of the writers and cast that I interacted with. For all of us, it's a passion project. We're doing this because we love it. And I am so excited for fans to get to hear all the new music and get to go to all nine realms. I can't wait for fans to pop this game in and be transported away.